Okay, let's all meet on our mat. Let's start with a standing position, opening the legs wide, opening the hands, palms facing forward, ready to receive and give back to the universe. Just close your eyes, just starting with a standing meditation, just for a moment, to get in tune with our body, to get in tune with our breath, before we start our practice. So just breathe deeply from the nose, Feel the sensations that are going on in your body as you breathe deeply. Connecting your mind to your body and your body to your breath. Slowly open the eyes. Let's start a little joint warm up of the wrist, just rolling out the wrist, maybe rolling out the shoulders, letting the energy flow freely in the body. We're going to do a lot of things with weights today in our arms. So if you have uh, small weights between like two to five kilos, bring two, or you can use water bottles or anything that really weighs the same amount. Just bring those. Let's warm up those wrists, just rolling out the fingers, rolling out, or rolling out the wrists, outside, inside. Let's focus more on the shoulders now. We're rolling the shoulders backwards and forward. <sighs> Moving to our hips, you can place your hands on your hips, just rolling them out. In one direction, feel free to bend your knees if that's more comfortable or keep them straight, whatever works for you. And change direction. Just feeling this nice hip joint movement here, working on that mobility, on that lubrication in the hip joint. And adding a little bit of the feet. Going into some ankle circles. Circumduction here of the ankle joint. Change direction. And change feet. Other direction. Coming back to center, let's start our last. Woo! Let's grab our weights. And we'll come into a goddess pose here where our knees should be stacked up on our ankles in this nice wide angle. Wide angle posture. And make sure you're not coming into a big back bend here. We want to tuck that core in, activate the core, tuck the ribs in towards the center. We're going to hold our weights and bring them into the crease of our hip here. Add a little bit extra weight to the leg. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Gonna inhale and lift the right heel up coming on, onto your tippy toes. Exhale down, switch sides. Inhale, left heel up, exhale down. Keep going, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep switching sides as you breathe. Activating our calf muscles, our thigh muscles, working on the arches of our feet. Make sure you're still keeping this nice long spine here and not leaning too far forward or arching in the back. Keeping that nice posture. And drop the heels to the ground. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, come into cactus arms. 90 degrees out from the sides and reach the shoulder blades towards each other in the back. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale. Couple more. Keep going. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, come to cactus arms. We're gonna add a little bit of kickboxing here. Punch to the left, 
twist, punch to the right, twist. Come back to center, inhale up, exhale, cactus arms. Active exhales on the punching. Inhale up, exhale, cactus, exhale. Inhale up, let's switch sides. Exhale, cactus, punch to the left first and then to the, to the, punch to the right and then to the left. Inhale up, exhale, cactus, right, left. Inhale up, exhale, cactus. Inhale up. Exhale, cactus, and hold. We're gonna open the arms outwards and straight and turn our legs into warrior two legs. This means from our goddess legs, which are both face, facing outwards and open, we twist them both a little bit towards the right, each of them about 30 degrees, which means the right foot will go from center, facing forward, straight on your mat, and the left foot will go from facing towards the left, towards facing outwards from the mat. Coming into our warrior two leg, make sure the knee is above the ankle. Inhale, hands come up, shoulder height. Look towards your right hand and make sure your spine stays over your hips. Long, nice posture here, not leaning forward or backwards. <sighs> Breathe deeply, holding your posture. Static warrior two. Let's add a bit of movement here. Twisting the hands upwards, seeing the, fore, the top of your forearms towards the sky, and back up. And just keep twisting them. Still looking towards the right of your warrior two. Working on this external rotation of the shoulders. Still breathing deeply. A little bit more. And bring the right elbow to your right knee. Inhale, left hand comes up, coming to a variation of side angle pose. Gonna add some bicep curls here. Left hand stays up, right hand curling towards your chest. Keep going. Breathing deeply. Slowly lower both hands down to heart center. Inhale, come up to warrior one. We're twisting the whole body towards our right leg now. You can adjust your back leg if needed to keep your hip facing forward, coming onto the top of your toes into a crescent lunge. Knees still above the ankle. Make sure you have good alignment on your front leg. Again, make sure you're not coming into a deep back bend here. Tuck the pelvic, um, the pelvis forward, engaging the core, long spine, protecting the lower back. <sighs> Gonna come into some lunge squats here. If you're not already on your toes, get on your back toes. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, drop that left knee towards the ground and bring your hands by your shoulders. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. One more, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, come back up, exhale, bring both feet together. Inhale, rise the hands up, long spine here, look up towards your hands. Exhale, come into a chair pose, press the legs up against each other, and slowly drop the hips. Finding your right alignment, making sure you can still see your front toes and that your hips are coming backwards, not forwards. Hands are overhead, protect that lower back still, not in too much of a back bend. You can look forward or up at your hands. Three deep breaths here. Inhale, look up. Exhale, drop the hands behind you in your chair pose. 
and start pulsing them backwards. You can do active exhales or breathe deeply, whatever works for you. Keep pulsing, working on those triceps, the muscles on the back of your arms at the top. Inhale, hands come up. Look up towards your hands. Exhale, bring that left leg all the way back. Hands come to shoulder height. Coming back to our warrior two. Inhale, turn forward, hands come up. Open the feet to that wide, nice, beautiful goddess pose. And exhale, let's change sides. Warrior two on the left leg now. Left leg is pointing forward in the same direction as your mat. Right leg is pointing outwards, forward in the, in the outside direction. Hands are shoulder height. Again, make sure that spine is nice and aligned. Look towards your left hand. <sighs> Holding this statically just for a moment. And then adding a little bit of movement, opening the hands and closing. Open and close, keep going. You can do it as fast or slow as you prefer. Slowly bring that left elbow to that left knee. Inhale, right hand comes up. Bicep curls on the left hand. Make sure that right hand stays up nice and straight. Curling that left arm towards your chest and back down. And inhale, turn the body towards your front leg. Coming into warrior one just for a moment here. Hips come all the way forward. If you need to, you can already turn onto the tops of your toes. And now we'll all turn on our toes. Knees are in line with the ankle still in the front of the leg. Should feel a nice stretch in your hip flexor here at the top of your right thigh. Inhale, hands are up. You're gonna start adding squats here. Inhale, hands rise up long spine. Exhale, right knee to the ground. Hand comes, hands come to your shoulders. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Make sure you're not straightening in that left leg when you rise up. It's still above the ankle. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, both feet together. Look up towards your hands. Inhale. We're gonna come into our chair pose. Exhale. Sitting down in your posture, you can still see your toes. Long spine here, looking up towards your hands. Three deep breaths. Inhale, long hands, long spine. Exhale, swing the arms back and start pulsing. Pushing the hands up backwards. Again, you can do this with deep breaths or active exhales. Inhale, hands come up. Chair pose. Exhale, bring that right leg back. Coming into your warrior two. Inhale, goddess pose, wide angle. Exhale, bring the hands down toward the ground. Just shake out those hips in this nice straddle, wide angle pose. Just 
Letting the arms relax for a moment. Close the legs about halfway, still wider than your hips. And sink down towards the ground into a yogi squat. In our yogi squat, we still want to make sure that our toes and knees are in the same um, alignment here and they're not turning inwards or two outwards. And take your weights for a moment. Inhale, hands come up. Feel balanced and stable on your feet in your yogi squat. Strong in your shoulders and your hands, feeling your back completely activated. Strong backs. And exhale the hands down. Bring that right hand a little bit outwards on the inside of your knee. Left hand comes up, inhale into this deep twist with that weight, allowing you to go even deeper with that left hand back. Exhale down, switch sides. Left hand comes outwards on the inside of your left knee. Inhale, the right hand comes up. Look up towards your right hand. Exhale, come down. From here, we're going to turn to our tabletop pose. Hand weights in front of your hands. Just take a moment finding your tabletop, making sure your hands are beneath your shoulders. And your knees are beneath your hips. And just take a moment here feeling this nice long spine here, not sinking the belly or arching too high up. Just a neutral spine. The core is still active though. You can feel it on every exhale. It's contracting and holding your posture together. I'm going to add some quadruplex movement here. So we want to keep this nice neutral spine the whole time. Grab your weight in your right hand and move your body weight to your left hand and your right knee. Inhale, lift the right hand and the left leg. Keep that nice long neutral spine. Don't sink in the belly. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Let's switch sides. Place the weight down, find your tabletop. Grab the left weight in your left hand, move the weight towards your right hand and your left knee. Inhale, left hand comes up with the weight, right leg comes up, long neutral spine. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to center to your tabletop. And just take a moment here. Feeling this long spine as if your head is reaching far away from your sacrum. They're pulling away from each other, creating more space in the spine, no compression. We're going to move our weight in between our knee crease, between the thigh and the back muscle. And starting to do glute curls here. And really hold that weight with your leg. Inhale, the leg comes up and start pulsing. Look forward, keep that nice long neutral spine. Just pulsing the leg up, up, up. A little bit longer. Soon this will be over, don't worry. And switch, bring the right knee down. Bring your weight into the other leg, into the knee crease and really lock it in there, squeezing the calf muscle and the thigh together. Inhale, leg comes up, long spine, and start pulsing. You can 
looking between your hands. Keep that nice, strong arm balance here. Keep pulsing the leg up. And slowly bring the leg back down. Release the weight. And let's come on to our back. We're laying on our backs now. Bring your weights with you. Feet are on the ground. We're gonna come into a low bridge. Make sure your legs are forward and straight and parallel to each other. And super grounded in the feet here. All the power comes from pressing into your feet in bridge pose. Inhale, the hands will come up overhead. Straight up. Take a deep breath. Inhale, lift the hips, press into the ground. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower down. Keep going at your own pace. One more. And hold up at the top just for a moment. And lower down slowly. You can drop the weights at your side. You won't need them anymore. Just gonna bring the knees to chest. Hug your knees with your elbows, head comes up towards your knees. Just squeeze your whole body together for a moment. Lower the head and bring the hands out to shoulder height. And just circle the knees around the ceiling, giving yourself a nice little back massage. Change direction. Bring the knees to the right side, all the way to the ground and look towards the left. Coming into a gentle twist here. Inhale the knees back to center. Exhale, change sides, knees come towards the left, look towards the right. Inhale, back to center. Then exhale, open the body, just for a little shavasana together to end our practice. Legs open as wide as your mat or a little bit wider, hands come by the hips, palms facing up. Let's just take a couple of deep breaths together to let the body properly relax and end the practice. Feel your body melting into the ground, completely releasing, surrendering to the ground beneath you. Feel the movement of your breath the belly rising and falling. Instantly making you feel more relaxed and more at ease. Take one more full breath, filling your whole body with new oxygen. And exhaling completely so that your belly button hits your spine. <sighs> Release any sound your body feels like releasing at this moment. Let's slowly meet each other at a comfortable seat. Whatever's comfortable for you. 
keeping the eyes closed, just feeling your movement, feeling the movement of the circulation flowing throughout your body. And return to your normal breath. Feeling this deep peace within you after practicing a nice lovely yoga workout together. Feel this length in your spine, this power that radiates from your body. And bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.